Welcome YouTube. This is another of the Everyday Investor videos. Um, on Friday, I uh, told you guys how I sold out of my positions in the medical marijuana stock. And uh, I would say on Tuesday, if uh, I was right or not, well, I got to eat crow here. And uh, hopefully you learn from my mistakes. Although, I think my fundamentals... The reason why I did it, I think it's still valid. Um, I sold out because the stock is well out of the range of the Bollinger Bands. It's, it's gone on an amazing run. And it just, I felt like it had to correct itself. And for some odd reason, I thought that had to be in the new year. People would start taking profits. And um, I was very, very wrong. Um, first of all, the stock... It, it it opened and it gapped up to what was that nine fifty to it gapped up a dollar. So right there is a, a kick in the pants, and then uh, it's it's kind of came back down, but then it just went on its typical run. So you can see right here is where I sold out all my position at nine dollars and forty one cents. You know. Still made a decent return on on my investment in those in those shares, but at 400 shares, this dollar opening that's 400 bucks I missed out on, and then eventually I then I didn't even get in. And I sat there and watched it and watched it and watched it, hoping it would come start correcting, and it didn't. So I made my second mistake, which you shouldn't do, is I, I jumped back in. So the stock's at a 52-week high, and I bought it. And I don't recommend anyone does that. I, a patient investor or a smarter investor would wait until it actually does correct. And it's, it's, one would say it has to. But I don't know how much of a run this is going to go on. Being that this company priced at $11 and gained $2.22 today. Yeah. <sighs> For production, it's right up there with, with this is APH, which is trading at twenty dollars. It went up a dollar fifty today too, and I did the exact same thing here too. Look at I bought I sold out I didn't have a whole lot of shares in this one, sixty one shares. Sold out eighteen dollars. And it opened at nineteen forty three. Well, I think it closed on Friday actually at 1870 so it gapped up almost a dollar and then followed the exact same pattern kind of came back down and then went on a run and uh, it ended at 2019 I got back in at 1994 I bought back into this one so I didn't I didn't lose any money other than my trading commissions uh, but and I recommend you don't think like this I probably missed out on the course of the day. I don't know. Was it 600 bucks? 600 bucks? Poof, gone. So I was wrong. Um, apparently, and I watched another video on this saying that with these stocks, people are kind of ignoring the fundamentals of stock trading. Like these, these stocks are, are way out of the bands. But then if you look at, this is Aurora, it was trading well out of the bands for half a month. It didn't even come back to the center line and went right back up to the top of the bands before it corrected. So it might still, and it's, well, it's going to correct itself. It's, it can't go on run forever. But where does it stop at? If it starts correcting tomorrow and comes back down to 10 you know, and now I'm negative on my position, and I'm bag holding at 11.23, but them's the breaks. I was bag holding back here at 3.04, and I thought that was I wasn't going to see that again. And I bought back in at 2.67, 216, 2.45. So I'll hold it. I'm pretty confident that these three big marijuana stocks, ACB, APH, and Weed, are going to bring 
a lot more in, in returns, especially leading up to legalization this summer. So that's it, guys. Two mistakes. I thought I knew what this thing, what a stock was going to do based on previous patterns. Out of the bands, correct. Out of the bands, correct. And I didn't. And I didn't want to miss out, so I made second mistake. And I bought back in at a 52 week guy. So, you know, I'm not going to kick myself too bad. You know, from all the money I've put into this stock, I'm still at a $2,600 return on ACB, $620 return on APH. Side note, my little cobalt mine, Katanga, man, did it. Well, all of the, uh, a lot of the miners really made some decent gains, but Katanga, oof, 17% today. This poppy went on a ride. So that was a 30 minute chart. So yeah, it opened up with a bang. And then uh, didn't start tailing off till right at the end of the day, or flatline. So, love my little Katanga stock. Remember, every electric vehicle is going to need cobalt in their battery, unless someone comes up with a different chemistry. But that's way, way, a ways away. And uh, the lithium cobalt battery chemistry is still probably the most efficient. Anyways, guys, that's it for today. Uh, I was wrong. Got any questions? Comment below. I'd appreciate a like. Please subscribe if you want to follow my journey. We talk about my stocks that I buy, my decisions that I make, and the ramifications of those decisions. Anyway, guys, have a good night. Bye-bye.